legends welcome back beer reviews beer sarge face off kiwis versus mexicans not cartels either but it's not like a pure i found one in the fridge thought i'd drink them all found it hiding in the back hiding behind the old classics anyway so we'll try that one corona now it's down the down the supermarket when i decided to buy a box of this uh, corona and i see there's now a corona like a ladies corona that's a 3.2 or something like that now i'm not sure whether that's low in carb but it's certainly low in alcohol um, a standard corona is 4.5 it's lower than that so i don't know why you would but hey there you go and of course the veritable classic but not classic Steinlager Pure. This is uh, Steinlager's answer to Heineken, I would, I would, I assume. It's supposed to be no preservatives, no nothing but nothing but pure Steinlager. What have we got about this one? This is 99% sugar-free, as is all beer. But good marketing for uh, Lion. Uh, no additives, no preservatives. Water, malted barley, hops, and yeast from the purest place on earth, New Zealand. Oh yeah, that, yep, that's right it is. Uh, yep, so this is a five. They're a five percent. Pretty sure. Yep, five percent Kiwi Lager. Now, Corona is the only beer in the world, I think, well, that I come across, that you need a, um, what, do, what would you call it? An accoutrement or a an, an added addition to. So, lime. If you go to a bar and you order a Corona, you'll always get a lime chucked in the neck of the bottle. A couple of theories around that. First theory is that it's they did it in Mexico, where they brew the beer. They put a lime in the top to stop flies crawling into your beer. And, well, sounds like a bloody good idea to me. Um, also, it does give you a little bit of flavour as the beer is washing across the top of the, um, the lime. You get that added lime citrusy taste in the beer so actually don't mind it it's um it's not a bad beer cold on a hot day this is cold on a cold day but we'll give that a shot so um we'll get a uh, we'll get a lifter into this and we'll get a glass because the stein lager we we should be doing it out of the bottle we'll do it out of the bottle like for like so i was going to do glass versus Bottle, but everyone knows what Steinlager looks like, so there's no point in pouring it into a glass. So, there's the Corona, there's the Steiny. Now, get yourself a lemon, cut yourself a wedge. Get yourself a wedge knife. This is not a wedge knife, but get yourself a knife to cut a wedge with. Be very careful with your sharp knife, especially if you've drunk a lot of Coronas. halfway and your wedge should pop up out of there like that did you get that did you see that got it all right take your wedge of lime look at that that's a fucking magnificent fucking wedge look at that take that wedge of lime poke it in the bottle it'll fizz up a little bit and it'll sit there just like that and that's what you want now there are some sort of twats who put their finger in the bottle and then turn it upside down so the lime floats to the top and there's no point all right so we'll move all our shit out of the way and we'll start this review so we've got a corona with a lime in it and we've got a steinlager pure head to head immediately this is winning because it's five percent of alcohol and this is 4.5 so it, it's winning on the alcohol percentage taste let's well, let's do a smell test first. All I can smell is lime. Yep, still just lime. So, it smells alright. Someone in the house just got called a dumbass. Dumbass! Kids are home from school. Okay, so there's, there's, a, there's a hop smell coming off the top of this. Now, I think um, Steinlag is brewed with um, I think it's with green bullet hops um, or Cascade. I, I, yeah, 
now that I say it I think it could be either either but it's a, it's a New Zealand hop that it's brewed with and it's got a very distinctive smell so Steinlager and Steinlager Classic um, I think they use the same hops um, very very distinctive taste and smell so we'll start off with the Steiny for a lager it's got a very good body it's like a full bodied lager um, <coughs> you can't you can go past it but you can't you can't go past the style lager as a if you're going to go stock standard beers um, fucking seagulls I'm, we're not even close to the goddamn sea there's a fucking flock of seagulls up there and not to follow with the hair either not the flock of seagulls from the 80s um, It's a good beer. Stony Pure is a good beer. Um, it's one of those ones where um, I'm tossing up between that and the Heineken box of at the uh, supermarket, and they're you know one's cheaper than the other. I, I'll they're either either for me. I'll pick one up or the other. Corona, on the other hand, is fucking expensive. It's always expensive. I think a dozen of these were twenty six dollars. So. You know, that's to, to my mind, this is an overpriced beer. It always has been. You know, they'll put a, an 18 box out because they don't do 24 boxes. They'll put an 18 box out and it'll be the same price as a 24 box of uh, either Steinlager, Classic Pure, or Heineken. This will try and do an 18 for, you know, 36, 38 bucks. Overpriced and only buy it when it's on super special anyway stop wanking on about prices and let's have a try of the old four and a half percent corona there's a lot more carbonation in a corona um, it doesn't look like it when you when it's sitting in the bottle but as soon as you um, start drinking it tons of carbonation um, honestly there's no there's no body to it it's like not it's not a full-bodied beer it's um it's very light yeah I mean it's a it's a it's a nice it's a nice light flavored beer um, the addition of the the lime in there does give it an extra little boost to its flavor another another big selling point for corona these are 330 mils 330 these are 355 if i do a little bit of a calculation if we go to uh, where are we i gotta try and find the fucking calculator so 355 times 18 because you get them in an 18 box the 6.3 liters or 6.39 say 6.4 liters of beer in a in an 18 box there's 7.9 in a 24 box of um of steinlager so you're getting you're getting a little bit more beer um, and more bang for your buck i think if you go with the 24 boxes of um, steinlager heineken or you know both Steinlager classic and pure all right for me winner on the day um it's a hot summer's day and i'm heading to uh, my mate's place at the beach and we're gonna i'm staying the night because i'm you know not gonna drive home what am I going to do? Am I going to and am I going to buy Coronas or am I going to buy Steinlager? Well, if I pick up the Corona, I can get it in an 18 box, which you know some people will say, well, yeah, that should be enough for a night. Sometimes it's not, so it's an 18 box. So you don't want to buy two 18 boxes, so you'd have to buy two 12s to give you the 24 um, 24 bottles for the night. That's going to cost you a significant amount of money compared to 24 of these which is going to cost you about 40 bucks this is going to cost you maybe god i don't know 50 nearly 60 dollars for for two dozen of these then you've got to buy these suckers for this in the summer these things go for like 70 dollars a fucking kilo so a tip for you corona drinkers for summertime in the winter buy these limes limes get down to a dollar a kilo buy yourself a shitload of them and freeze them vacuum pack them and freeze them and that will you know save you money over summer when it comes down to it 
at the end of the day the winner of the Steinlager Pure versus Corona is the Steinlager. Cheer, cheer. Catch you later.